Hey everybody, my name is Ryan McLaughlin and I'm the owner of Cannabis Law Group, a Minnesota-based, exclusively focused on cannabis and hemp-derived products law firm. Uh, so far, we are the first and the only cannabis law firm in the state, and we are really excited about that. And today we're offering a top 10 uh, steps when you're starting your own CBD business. These are the top 10 things you should consider. The most important 10 things uh, from both a business standpoint and legal standpoint. Our goal is to cover this in 10 minutes. If after you know listening to this, digesting this, taking notes, you have questions, feel free to follow up for, for your own individual strategy session. So feel free to follow up for a phone call. We're happy to help. Uh, check out cannabislaw.co, cannabislaw.co. Uh, all right, let's dive in. So the first thing you want to do when you're starting a CBD business, which just like any business, uh, is to be passionate about it, be knowledgeable, read everything you can. When customer, you know, sort of build your CBD knowledge. And what do I mean by this? You know, the sort of what folks ask the most about CBD, which is legal. That's the first thing you want to know. But as a plant, as a biological matter, as a physiological matter, you want to be obsessed with the knowledge, right? And it's just the knowledge around CBD is exploding just as the business is sort of following suit. You want to subscribe to podcasts, you want to, you know, subscribe to newsletters, read, 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 read CBD guides, understand what hemp is, what cannabis is, understand genus, family, species, understand uh, that CBD, this is the number one question, does not get you high, understand the implications for drug tests on CBD, and this is really where on step one, when you're doing all this research, it's nice to have a community. So my firm offers this subscription model where we feed you all of this every month as it relates to law, as it relates to business. And this is the Canna Legal subscription model. Uh, for $200 a month, you become part of this community. And if you're interested in that, uh, follow up with a message and we can talk more about that. But we feel that it's a great way for small businesses to sort of jump on and feel protected. Number two, the CBD market is exploding. So previously in business, sometimes it would take brands you know, 18 to 24 months to launch a brand, nearly two years. Uh, there's a lot of logo design, there's a lot of uh, niche marketing analysis that goes into it. Now they're just, businesses around the, the country are just seeing this opportunity right here, right now. And they're sort of choosing, instead of waiting for the perfect brand, waiting for the small focus groups to decide, you know, what color schematic or, or what logo schematic or what approach or what target market, just get started, just dive in evolve with the market. Everything's changing so fast that if you are comfortable with that amount of uncomfortability, that is great. And it's, you know, again, to, to have your back, we are a uh, exclusively canna business. So serving, we are a law firm serving solely those businesses engaged in cannabis. We do nothing else. That is all we do. So we have your back. Step three, um, and this is more on the business front, but there's also some legal concerns here. Name selection. Um, you know, there, there is still stigma around cannabis. There's still stigma about the, the hemp leaf. There's still st stigma around these words, these images, these logos. So as you're selecting logos and names, you want to be intentional about your usage of stigmatized terms. You may choose a pot leaf. You may choose a, a generic leaf. You may choose to incorporate CBD or you may choose to inclu include other words that may allude to CBD, like green or organic or natural or holistic. Um, it depends what approach you're going. You want to indicate what your product is to con consumers and to the public, but you also don't want to trigger red flags with banks, and we'll talk about that later. Step four, and this ties into what we just talked about, is use a logo, design a logo. Uh, logos are key branding. Um, there are some trademark concerns right now surrounding anything related to an illegal business. That is, you cannot trademark them. Hemp based CBD is not illegal. And so if you're looking to protect your logo, schedule a call with us. We can talk to you about the uh, most recent regulations from the uh, US Patent Office and how to get trademarks going in a way that's that's compliant with the regulations that they just issued. Okay, moving right along, rapid pace. Again, if this is too fast, let me know. I'd be happy to chat with you. I can give you my phone number at the end here. Um, and we can set up a strategy session for launching your business in a way that fits for you. Um, step five, and this isn't a blanket recommendation, but it is. Step five, and, and this is not for everyone, so let's talk. Um, 
an LLC. An LLC is the business entity. I recommend setting up some sort of business entity, whether it's an LLC or a C Corp, whatever you're, or an S Corp, whatever you're using. Uh, let's chat about the legal protections, the tax implications, and let's just start forecasting. How many employees do you have? How many employees do you foresee? Uh, what you know? What's going on with your accountant situation? Do you have an accountant situation? How complicated is your is your business structure in terms of employees, goods, uh, etc. Uh, the goal with the corporate structure, goal number one, is to reduce or eliminate your personal liability. Okay, so that's the, the reason we have a business entity, um, and, and, and so we, we want to at least cover that base in some way, or at least be aware of it. Number six, have a website. Be present on social media, but also have a website. Not only for ordering and selling and buying, but just increase that web presence. Um, we don't recommend... Uh, you know, WordPress or Squarespace, we don't get into that, but we will sort of just run through your website and audit your website. Make sure you have disclaimers, make sure you have privacy policies, make sure you have terms and conditions, all of those sorts of legal, uh, legal protective measures. We are your legal shield. We have your back legally. Okay, and then uh, next steps are really the heart of your business. What are you selling? Where are you getting it from? You know, as the so, and, and then, so number seven is be good at this thing. Be good at uh, uh, your content, what you're selling. If it's, if it's uh, isolate, be awesome at isolate. If it's um, CBD infused root beer, be awesome at that. You know, know where you get your sassafras. Um, and this is because as the market is exploding, there will increasingly be a differentiation based on quality, right? What companies are using tested uh, products, what companies are not. Uh, what's the percentage of your CBD in product? Uh, how does it scale compared to others? So have a phenomenal product is number seven. Number eight, you want to have dual banking. Bank accounts notoriously in the CBD space have been very fragile, have been very fickle, have been very sensitive to the federal regulations. Uh, that's changing as the banking regulations and, the, and uh, safe banking provisions are, are trying to be passed. Uh, which would relax the regulations on, uh, on bank institutions, which then pass on those strict regulations to their customers. But you want to have dual banking in place just as an insurance measure in case one of your banks says, no, we can't do business, you have a backup. And that's a nice assurance to your, your clients as well that they can rely on you. Okay, um, same thing with a bank is you want to find a, a, a merchant processor, someone who will physically take payment before it goes to the bank. And the same concerns, this is number nine, the same concerns govern here is with the bank, right? You don't want to be shut down on the merchant processing front because then you can't take funds from clients and deposit them into the bank. So you want to have a CBD friendly processor and ideally two of them, one uh, on reserve in case the first something happens to the first. Number 10, have fun. This is an exciting, exciting space. This market's so awesome. It's so awesome that we're finally getting, uh, having the option to have legal hemp, you know, from burgers to health benefit, burgers to milkshakes to, to massage oil to coffee to uh, ingestibles, whether it be soft gels or whether it be capsules. Uh, the health benefits in terms of sleep, in terms of relaxation. So many people are reporting so many positive benefits and anxiety, and so it really is fantastic. All right, if this was helpful for you, if this is exciting, if you want to connect, if you want to be a startup entrepreneur in the CBD space, I would love to chat with you. Um, find us at cannabislaw.co or Cannabis Law Group on Facebook. All right, thanks a lot.